What is the difference between an osteopath and a chiropractor? Well, this is one of the most common questions that I get asked as an osteopath in practice, and I get it asked almost every day. I can guarantee that almost every single one of my patients has asked me this at some point during their treatments. So I thought I'd put it in a video and let you guys know. We're gonna talk about three main differences today. The first is with the philosophy, the second is with the assessment, and the third is with the treatment. Number one, the philosophy. Chiropractors believe that a problem in the body is a result of a dysfunction in the spine. And when you look at the anatomy of the spine, you have the spine, you have the spinal canal, and in that spinal canal, you've got the spinal cord. Coming out of the spine, you've got nerve roots, and those nerve roots form into nerves. Those nerves supply organs, muscles, joints, and even things like the skin. If the spine is not working properly, and one of the joints is compressing a nerve root, that's gonna affect the signals going to those structures that are supplying. And therefore, it's gonna result in less function. So by correcting this subluxation, you're gonna restore the natural function of that structure. Osteopaths, on the other hand, believe that a problem can result from a dysfunction anywhere in the body. If you have pain, that's gonna change the way you move and the way you function. And that's gonna cause problems not only in that place, but problems elsewhere. The theory is that let's say you have a problem in the knee, you're gonna change the way you walk, which is gonna change the mechanics of the hip and therefore the spine. That's gonna affect the muscles, the tightness around the spine. And that's gonna then affect structures higher up. And that could even result in something like a headache. So osteopaths tend to look a little bit more globally now, when it comes to number two, the assessment, chiropractors often use, not always, but often use x-rays or some other form of imaging or diagnostic equipment. In their first session, you'll often have this assessment done with x-ray, for example. They'll bring you back in on the second time. They'll go through the results and tell you their treatment plan. Then on the third time you come back in, they're gonna give you a treatment. Osteopaths, on the other hand, will usually assess you and treat you on that first session. Now, the way that we work as osteopaths is we'll have a look at you standing, first of all. We'll get you moving to see where any restrictions may be. Then we'll have a look and a feel on all the muscles and joints, see how they're moving. We'll perform special orthopedic tests, uh, trying to see if we can provoke the problem so we can work out exactly what's going on just by using our hands and our eyes and then at the end of that assessment, we'll treat you. Number three, the treatments. Chiropractic treatments tend to be quite short, around about 15 minutes. Chiropractors are more well known for adjustments, and adjustments are the clicking of necks and backs. That's what chiropractors tend to do, necks, upper backs, lower backs. Osteopaths, on the other hand, tend to do more of the whole body, so we treat more globally. We do a lot more massage work, and our theory is that if you can loosen up the muscles and relax the muscles first, then when it comes to adjusting those joints, it's gonna be a little bit less aggressive on the body. So you're gonna have less of a treatment reaction. Ultimately though, it doesn't matter who you see, whether it's a chiropractor or an osteopath, as long as you feel comfortable with that practitioner and you like the way their treatment style is. If you don't feel comfortable during your treatments, you're not gonna feel relaxed and you're not gonna get better as quick. So find a practitioner that you like rather than the therapy. If you guys have got any further questions, please drop it in the comment section below and we will see you guys very soon.